In today's video, guys, we are going to speak in English because this right here is the Doc Martens 101. And I really hated it that I myself wasn't able to watch at least a single useful video that would help me decide if I'm gonna get this shoe. So that is why I am here to unbox the shoe and review the it. design, the quality, the sizing, and especially the comfort. You're gonna know everything in this video. If you guys appreciate me doing this video, I hope you can leave a like because I really dedicated this video to all the people out there who wanted to buy the boots. Not just in the Philippines, but you know, also those people who are too dumb to understand Tagalog or Philippine language. This video is for you guys. And also guys, if you would like to see this Filipino dude giving you style advice, let me know in the comments so I can continue making my videos in English. Here it is guys. The boots it comes in this really nice Doc Martens box right here. Black 101 smooth. So this is size US 9. I'll tell you more about the sizing later, but right now, let's inspect the boots, guys. I already wore this, guys, but I just placed this back right here so you can see how it actually looks when you first get the shoe. So here's the boots, guys. The Doc Martens 101 Smooth Leather Black Stitch. Just a bit of a background, guys. In this channel, I usually make videos about minimalist outfits. That's why I chose this one with the black stitching because for me it looks a lot cleaner but don't worry guys you still retain the doc martens branding with this airwear with soles bouncing tab at the back and of course the bouncing soles still looks like a doc martens from afar so there's no problem with it i would personally recommend the 101s to those who are looking for a simple heavy duty boot that doesn't really attract too much attention because of the yellow stitching so this one would be perfect for you and especially to the short guys out there this one would be better than buying the 1461s. Because this one, guys, is an anchor boot and it's a lot shorter. Honestly, guys, this one is my first box and probably will be the last one. I'll tell you guys later why. For the quality, guys, since I am not a boot person and I usually wear sneakers, I really like the quality. The leather is really smooth. But you know, there are people out there who wanted the leather to feel grainy to see the, the skin of the animal. But for me, I like this one better because it looks a lot cleaner. But after wearing the boots at home for quite some time, I'm now seeing some pieces and I don't know how this would look after years of wear. The eyelets are really nice and I was surprised by the laces. This could really withstand some pulling because it's really high quality lace. And the sole, guys, it is soft and I really like the quality and the color because it gives a bit of a contrast, you know, because this one is all black already. Um, a brownish orange outsole gives a bit of a the Doc Martens look. The stitching is really nice. They have a thicker stitch right here where the leathers connect and a thinner stitch on the outlines. That gives it a really clean look. Now guys, let's go to the sizing. I know this one is the most crucial part. I'm usually a size 10 US on my sneakers and I got a size 9 US for the boots because that's what's in stock when I ordered it. But I think I went with the right choice because if I went with a size 10, I think that my feet would slide back and forth inside and that would cause blisters but guys i still had a blister wearing this at home doing nothing just sitting on my computer but i personally think that the size 9 dock would fit better for those for 9.5 us because for me it still feels really snug and i think that i could just wear this for just around three hours and then my feet would start pumping out blood but maybe that's because i am used to wearing sneakers some really comfy ones to fully break in the dock margins for the leather to finally stretch out a bit i think it would take a month of wearing and using the boots every day but if you're really a fan of docks or boots i think this would be a great option for you just suffer for a bit so you can wear it with comfort as they say and by the way guys the doc martens 101 goes for 160 us dollars on amazon and the doc martens website i don't know how i'm gonna earn some money because i'm not affiliated with amazon but guys if you like the video consider subscribing and let me know in the comments if you want me to continue making videos in english before i end the video i want to greet you all a happy new year and thank you for supporting the channel we are now on the road to 10k subscribers and now guys it's time to show you some really awesome doc martin's 101 outfit idea